Welcome back to another Adventures with John Jean video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, and night. Today we're out here at the San Diego Zoo, and we're gonna have a fun time today. I haven't been here in years, so they have they have opened. It's been open for a couple months, but uh, like throughout this whole like this is the first week where the attractions are actually open. So the Sky Fari is open. Some of the shuttle buses are open, and we're just gonna have a fun time here with family. We came on like a little mini vacation just to get out, get away from LA. Something new, just new sighting. So I'm very excited. Uh, we're gonna see some animals, go on some of the attractions here. And yeah, without further ado, let's carry on with today's video. They're getting ready to um, have some romantic time. Oh, look, they're going down. You feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? All right, guys. So we just got done um, looking at the bam the bamboos, and I gotta say. Why is, why is their butt so flat? And why is it so red? Why are they so rashy? That's my question. Because if they're that rashy, they need to put some desitin or some Vaseline on that because <laughs> their butt looked infected. And um, it was not a pretty sight to see. It's moving! Coming in the hole! Oh, it's... Oh, he's digging a hole! Hold on, Christine, you see him? I do, I do. Oh, he's digging a hole. Oh, he's digging a hole. Get away from me, you little butthole! I'm digging a hole! All right, guys, so before we look at any animals, I do want to mention the uh, temperature screening and the process of it. Um, when, we, when we got here, we had to do a bunch of zigzags just to get into temperature screening, and it was a mission. I'm going to tell you guys, it was a mission, so if you guys are coming to San Diego Zoo, come early. Uh, we came a little bit late. We came maybe like an hour or two, an hour or two after it opening, so, you know, we had to wait in, in a little bit of a zigzag. Uh, overall, the, uh, overall, like, Getting inside, getting your tickets scans were more easier than actually uh, waiting in the in the lines of the temperature screening. The social distancing here is a, it's 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 okay. There's there's some there's some spots where you know there's gonna be a little bit of people crowded. And there's gonna be some spots where it's gonna be open space. People are six feet away. You just have to find those areas where you can um, be safe and be 
six feet away and stuff like that which that's what we're doing so if I see there's a lot of crowd I just kind of wait until people move so I could see the animal or I'll just skip the animal if it's not like a very interesting animal to see I'll just skip it all together we're having fun so far we've seen monkey butt um, we've seen camels we've seen elephants so far so good <laughs> can't complain uh, it's a beautiful day though it's not too hot it's not too cold um, it's not too hot, not too cold. There's a beautiful breeze here. So it's good. So far having fun. It's just the temperature screening was a, uh, was a bit of a problem. It's a little bit complicated, but overall, pretty good so far. Let's go see some more animals. So you see here, we're over here at the Sky Fari, and this line is ridiculous. But also, where's this? It's like, where's the social markers at? There's no social markers on the floor. So a lot of people are like not really, kind of close to each other, if you can see. But uh, yeah, this Sky Fari is really, really packed. It's going outside of like its own queue. And the Sky Fari is literally these little buckets that go around. And they take you from one side of the park to the other. Which I was very excited to go on, but I don't think it's worth waiting in a line like this So maybe I have to wait a little bit or maybe go up to the front entrance Where they have it because this is actually the back side of the San Diego Zoo Which is where this is at so this is gonna take you all the way to the back to the front Which we're not done yet with the back so maybe we should just wait a little bit because this line is no joke So in the earlier clip I was mistaken. I actually do see the social distancing signs but uh, most of them are blocked off by all the strollers right here. Because everyone's putting their strollers here when they get on the ride. So a lot of the distancing signs, you can see one over there being hidden under the wheels. Which is, um, sh they should be like out here in the middle of this line. But, hmm, interesting. So that's, I was just mistaken. So sorry about that, Dickie. Can you see one right here? Under this like mobility scooter. Yeah, this is kind of a problem. They should have these very visible and even have like a stroller like a stroller parking area designed for it because this is a uh, We can't really see these Yeah, I like to you guys. We're waiting in line. We're already almost there. We just need to go in there and that's it <laughs> uh, It went by pretty fast. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. The line went by pretty fast. So Yeah I lied to you guys, so sorry, and it will never happen again. So one thing we noticed is that they are seating every other, like every other cabin or Sky Fari ride. So you can see that one just left and there was nobody. And now this little cabin Sky Fari has people inside. It's pretty cool. And also you can see they have some like little dividers. Little dividers on the windows, which is really cool. So yeah, they are, they are riding every other Sky Cabin right here. We are on on the Sky Fari and it's such a fun ride. I always love it when we, whenever we come here to San Diego Zoo. It's such a fun time because you're just soaring over the whole San Diego Zoo, which is awesome. You get to see the beautiful views of all the plants and just like everyone walking. It's super cool. The views are amazing. They're beautiful. And just like, it's just so cool to be here and the breeze feels so good. The breeze, especially on a hot day, and like it's just a nice breeze up here. It feels really good. So. Um, yeah, I, I love this ride. Sky Fari is one of my favorites uh, to come here. One of my favorite attractions to be here at San Diego Zoo. Besides like the shells and stuff. And um, yeah, super cool and I love it. Alright guys, so we just hopped off the Sky Fari and one thing about the Sky Fari is if you have a stroller and you're gonna go all the way to the back side, like start over and then come down to the front, um, you have to get back in line in order for you to, to go back and get your stroller uh, because uh, it, it, will, it will not take you back all the way to the other side. So you will have to uh, get in line again in the front side and then take you back over there and exit from that so you can get your strollers and all your belongings because they don't allow strollers and all that stuff because it is a kind of a tight squeeze on these Sky Fari. So yeah, right now we're gonna have to hop back in line because we have some family members who uh, let their strollers and all that stuff all the way on the other side of the park. So let's get back on again. Super fun times. So
So we're here on the other side of the park to do the Sky Fari and this queue line is way better because all the distance markers, hold on, are way visible than the ones over there and everyone, and you can see everyone's over here by the wall. And you can see all the markers on the floor are very visible. There's no strollers blocking the view or anything. So definitely the front of the park is better to hop on the Sky Fari than the back side of the park where we uh, entered and just got off right now. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that if you guys are ever going to come here in the future, if you want to get in the, on the Sky Fari, the front of the park is the better queue line to get on these Sky Fari Sky Buckets. All right, guys, so I did want to mention that when you get on the Sky Fari, after each person gets off of it, they do sanitize it. They spray it down, and there is someone uh, on the other side who is wiping everything down, the pole, the plexiglass, sometimes the seat, but they really do spray it down for you. So when you sit down on the, on the Sky Fari, your butt's a little wet from, like, the sanitization because, you know, they just spray it. <laughs> it's awesome, but, uh, but you know, but the, it's good that they are sanitizing stuff like that. So don't worry, guys. It's not like they're, they're just, you know, letting you go on. They're obviously going to sanitize the the ride so yeah just just a, just a little um, information for you guys just so you guys know when you guys come on here that it is not going to be unsanitized they will sanitize it for you guys and yeah pretty awesome it feels good i love it up here it feels so good look at this view it's so amazing i love it i'm having so much fun you hear the wind that's crazy yo <laughs> all right this is so much fun i'm having, so, I'm having a good time here in san diego zoo All right, guys. So we just got we just got done at like the polar bear exhibit, and like I kind of feel bad for the polar bears. Like they look kind of sad. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Like, how do they keep them like in like the right habitat or the right temperature? So are they supposed to be cold because they are polar bears? I don't know. They look kind of sad. But now we're in like this like bird cage area where you can see birds like right up close and like it's pretty neat. We we got to see like. Uh, one of the zookeepers actually feed the birds, so it's really awesome. It's a really cool experience here. Thank you guys so so much for our today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to be, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified every time inside the parks. But I had such a great time here at the San Diego Zoo, spending time with family, with little cousins, all that stuff. It's just we had such a blast. So uh, I had a fun time. Uh, if you guys want to come to the zoo, come to the zoo. I just I just know that if you want to come a little bit early, if you want to come a little bit early, so you, you won't have to be in the temperature checks because it is a zigzag. Also, a lot of the physical distancing is sometimes it gets a little iffy because uh, everyone just wants to push. And, and, and watch other stuff so just be aware of that and if there's a lot of people in like one area just make sure you just you know wait until they're done and then you can just you know look at the animal for yourself once everyone has moved but overall I had a great time um, without further ado thank you guys so, so much and as always I'll see you guys in the parks